Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you've never been here before. My name is Grace and I have a little story to tell you guys today. So basically, I work at a plant store in New York City and our plant store along with many other plant stores across the country gets plants from Florida from time to time. On April 7th at work, my coworker and I were cleaning out a few ficus benjaminas. We were like getting all the extra leaves off because those plants are like notorious for shedding a lot of leaves. So my coworker found this frog in the base of the big like tree and I was like okay okay like what do we do and they were like oh let's just put it outside and I was like no it's gonna die like it's definitely from Florida and we live in New York and like if we let it out it's just gonna die there's an animal sanctuary like an exotic animal bird sanctuary like one block away let me go bring it to them and see what they can do so at this point we have no idea what kind of frog it is no idea how long it had been there when the last time it had eaten and it was like this really pale, like green color. It just looked really stressed out. So I brought it over to the bird wild animal sanctuary and they were like, we can't take this. It's a f like a frog. We only take like turtles and birds and stuff. And I was like, ah, okay, that's fine. They were like, here, call this number. It was like some other bird fund. And I was like, oh, they're not gonna be able to take this either. So I asked some of my very sweet and wonderful and knowledgeable friends on this amazing houseplant server that I'm a part of on Discord. And a lot of them had some really, really helpful advice for me. And we ended up finding out that it is a Cuban tree frog and they are invasive in Florida and they gave me really good advice to be like okay this is the kind of food you want to get and they were like this is the kind of terrarium that you want to put it in and basically they were just kind of telling me how I could take care of it and I was like okay like it seems like this is gonna happen. I'm gonna take this frog home because my other coworker that found it has a cat so we were like I don't know like if it's a great situation just in case and they were also like I don't really have the space for it and I was like honestly I've wanted a frog since I was nine years old so I think this is what's gonna happen <laughs> so now that I've told you this whole story let's get into the antics that I've been up to today the day after <laughs> I went to the pet store I bought all the wrong stuff it was like dead crickets and freeze-dried mealworms and my friends were like oh no 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 no, no, <laughs> it needs to be live crickets and live mealworms, definitely. Nothing dead at all. It won't even recognize it as food. And I was like, should have known that, obviously. Really should have known that. But I was in such shock. I was like too nervous to even, like I just had no idea what I was doing. And I was like, just looking for a frog on like the label of stuff. Cause everything was like reptile food. And I was like, what's going on? So I went back in, I got like 15 live crickets, I got a little container for them, I poured them all into the container, and now I have like a whole little situation, I could just refill the container whenever I need to, which is really convenient because I, that means I won't have to just like go back and forth to Petco all the time and get crickets like constantly. I can just buy like 30 at a time and I'll be fine for like two, three weeks. And then I just ordered this really cool like spherical aquarium that Ray and I are going to kind of like DIY into his new enclosure because we kind of had to like <laughs> make do with what we had. So the first enclosure that we made at the plant store was like a vase with a like a plant pot liner on the top <laughs> because we were like, okay, like we don't have anything. And of course, like it's a plant store. So we have moss and like tiny plants and like other like tiny bowls and stuff. So we kind of like made a little situation. Luckily we had a tiny bit of bark too. My coworker totally decked it out. It was so cute, but it was like a little small. And then I was like, hold on, we might have some bigger glass containers downstairs. So they went downstairs and they were like, oh my gosh, look at this. And they brought up this really awesome looking container. 
and it's like a great temporary terrarium for now but obviously we need something that like has a bigger water situation and it's gonna be like a whole set up situation that we're gonna do so that's kind of what i'm excited for so anyways I came back home from Petco today and finally got to feed Benjamin. I gave him some crickets, probably a little bit more than I should have, but honestly, from every single person that like knew anything about frogs, they were like, he looks kind of skinny. So I was like, okay, I'll like spoil him at first and give him extra food, you know? So I gave him maybe like six or seven crickets today and he had a great time looking around and catching them and he's just sleeping in his little house now and yeah so i have a frog now and i'm so excited he's really really sweet he's totally adorable i'm over the moon it's just like such a little dream come true i feel so much now in my life that I'm kind of at the moment where I always wanted to be. I'm I'm like living in a urban apartment stead <laughs> instead of a homestead. And I have like my herbs and like green beans and stuff growing on my windowsill, like in a little area. I have all my plants in my room and now I have a tiny little frog friend and i'm so excited and it's really cool probably in the next few weeks i'll have a video of the terrarium builds that ray and i are gonna do because it's gonna be super cool and i'm super excited because one of my very sweet friends on the houseplant discord has offered to send me some materials for the terrarium for like the bottom of the terrarium and also send me some like aeroid mix for my plants and I'm so excited and I'm super stoked to be like partnering with them, I guess. It sounds so official and cool. So definitely stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date. And I will see you guys in the next video.